Hey, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have some crucial news for Social Security users, and it's something you won't want to miss. We'll be discussing exciting new benefits on the horizon, important changes for 2025, and key dates you need to know as we approach the end of the year. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Stimulus Updates, your go-to channel for the latest news and updates on economic stimulus packages. I'm your host, Joseph, and today we have some exciting developments to share with you. First, let's break down what Social Security benefits are and why they are so vital. Social Security is a program that provides a financial safety net for millions of Americans, including retirees, disabled individuals, and survivors of deceased workers. Did you know that approximately 73 million people in the United States rely on these benefits? That's about one in every five Americans. The amount you receive from Social Security is calculated based on your lifetime earnings, specifically the average of your top 35 years of earnings. This ensures that your benefits reflect your contributions to the system throughout your working life. One crucial feature of Social Security benefits is the Annual Cost of Living Adjustment, or COLA. This adjustment ensures that your payments keep pace with inflation, which is essential for maintaining your purchasing power. Without these adjustments, many beneficiaries could struggle to meet their basic needs as the cost of living continues to rise. So, how does the COLA work? Every year, the Social Security Administration evaluates inflation using the Consumer Price Index, CPI, which tracks the price changes of a basket of goods and services. When inflation rises, so do your benefits. This mechanism is crucial for seniors and disabled individuals who may face higher living costs, especially in areas like healthcare and housing. Now, let's get into the exciting changes coming in 2025. In October, the Social Security Administration announced a 2.5% COLA for the coming year. While any increase in benefits is welcome news, many experts feel this boost might not be sufficient. Shannon Benton, the executive director of the Senior Citizens League, pointed out that this year's adjustment represents another missed opportunity to provide more substantial support for seniors. The COLA is designed to help benefits keep pace with inflation, but many argue that the current formula does not accurately reflect the spending habits of older adults. A proposal gaining traction is to switch from the CPIW, Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers, to the CPIE, Consumer Price Index for the Elderly. This change could provide a more accurate measure of inflation as it relates to the elderly, who often spend a larger share of their income on healthcare and housing. By adopting this alternative formula, benefits could be adjusted more fairly to reflect the true cost of living for seniors. This brings us to the discussion of actual benefit amounts. For those who retire at age 70 in November 2024, the maximum Social Security benefit will be $4,873 per month. That's a considerable sum, but remember, that most beneficiaries will receive less than the maximum, as benefits are closely tied to your earnings history and contributions to the system over your working life. Let's break down what these benefits mean in practical terms. As we mentioned, the maximum benefit for someone retiring at age 70 will be $4,873 per month. That sounds great, but how many people actually reach this amount? According to recent data from the Social Security Administration, most retirees receive significantly less, with the average monthly benefit for retired workers being around $1,800. This disparity highlights the importance of understanding how benefits are calculated. Your Social Security benefits are determined by your Average Indexed Monthly Earnings, AIME, which takes into account your 35 highest earning years, adjusted for inflation. For those eligible for Supplemental Security Income, SSI the maximum benefit 
is set at $943 for an individual and $1,415 for a couple. SSI is designed for individuals who have limited income and resources, helping them meet basic needs for food, clothing, and shelter. Now, let's transition to the discussion of payment schedules, as understanding when you'll receive these benefits is just as important as knowing how much you'll receive. The Social Security Administration has a well-organized payment schedule to ensure that beneficiaries receive their payments on time. This system is particularly beneficial for those who rely on Social Security for their monthly expenses. Beneficiaries, born between the 1st and the 10th of the month, receive their checks on the second Wednesday. Those born between the 11th and the 20th receive theirs on the third Wednesday. Finally, beneficiaries born between the 21 day and the 31 debt get their payments on the fourth Wednesday of the month. This structured payment schedule helps the SSA manage payments for millions of Americans who depend on Social Security for retirement, disability, and survivor benefits. Now, let's talk about the upcoming November payment dates. These are especially critical as we move into the holiday season. With November just around the corner, here are some important dates you should mark on your calendar. As we approach the holiday season, it's worth noting that this year's payment schedule allows some recipients to receive their checks before Black Friday. For November, SSI recipients will receive two payments due to the placement of the calendar. Normally, SSI payments are made on the first of the month, but since November 1 est falls on a Friday, beneficiaries will receive their payment that day. However, because December 1 est is a Sunday, recipients will receive their December payment on November 29th, which is the last Friday of the month. So, that means double checks for SSI recipients this month. This is great news for those who might be using their checks to buy gifts or prepare for holiday meals. It's important to plan ahead and budget wisely during this busy time of year. Another significant update to consider is the revised taxable earnings cap. This adjustment is important because it helps maintain the solvency of the Social Security program, ensuring that it can continue to provide benefits to current and future retirees. For 2024, the taxable earnings cap is set at $168,600 which means that individuals earning above this threshold will not pay Social Security taxes on those additional earnings. This cap will increase to $174,500 in 2025. So, what does this mean for high earners? Well, those who make above the cap will see no increase in their Social Security taxes for the portion of their income exceeding this limit. This change is part of a broader effort to ensure that higher earners contribute a fair share to the system, which is essential for its longevity and sustainability. But let's also consider how this impacts lower income earners. As the taxable earnings cap rises, it can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, higher earners contribute more to the system, but on the other, lower income earners may find it challenging to keep pace with the rising costs of living without sufficient adjustments in their benefits. And don't forget to drop your questions and comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences with Social Security. Until next time, take care, stay informed, and keep planning for your financial future.